You are watching Bermuda Grad Central, changing the world one yard at a time. Okay, yard fanatics, look, I'm always trying to give you the best information, the best information. This video is called, What is a Stolon? All right, if you got Bermuda grass, your Bermuda grass is gonna spread two ways. It's gonna spread through stolons and it's gonna spread through rhizons. These are stolons right here. These are the top runners, as you can see. Now, the reason it's looking all shaggy like this is because I took a blower and blew it so I can blow them up to show you. But what stolons do is they spray it on Bermuda grass now look at that, that's, oh my goodness, like 12, 15 feet. They can get real long, okay? Not 12, 15 feet, 12, 15 inches, but they can get real long. And what they do is they run across the ground. This part right in here, let me show you. That part right there, what it does, what it does is root to the ground and you'll they'll start to spread like that. Now, the period of time, the ones that's coming off of it, they do the same thing. They spread, they start rooting so you start getting grass to spread that way right there. And normally if you have a lot of bare areas, that grass will spread like that, all right? If this has happened to you, and we've been having rain that you wouldn't believe here in Georgia. It has rained three weeks straight, okay? Now right here is where we get all that, when you're mulching, all that wash that comes to the back of my property and it starts to cake up right here. This area right here, this is the 5,000 square feet area, was treated with that biozone by Joe's. Don't buy that, by the way. I'm, I'm through with that. I'm not using Joe's biozone at all anymore. <clears throat> but <clears throat> if I was using milorganite, the milorganite can actually help break down this, this thatch layer basically that has washed and it's not letting nutrients get to my soil. I took my blower and I blew all that stuff loose. And I'm about to put some more fertilizer on top of this 5,000 square foot area to try to help boost it up so it'll grow, all right? Now, this is the technique. I go over some clients' houses and now grass is not growing and we'll survey the property and we'll see it all kicked up like that. We'll take that blower We'll blow that stuff loose right before we put down some fertilizer, a couple of days of rain, a week of rain, and it's starting to get green, all right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, it's, it may get noisy, but let me show you. Okay, Yard Fanatics, <coughs> I got my um, backpack blow on, and like I said, it may get noisy, so you may have to turn the volume up and down, but the objective is to take my blower and blow all that stuff loose so it'll it, it alleviate, with, so it will allow the fertilizer to get down to the roots of this plant because I'm trying to get the boost up. All right, check it out. just blue you see how the soil is free now it's breathing air is getting to it versus this area right here if I put some some uh, fertilizer down and I had this in a previous video this older video if those fertilizer pellets land right here or even if I spray it this thatch and stuff is gonna absorb it in other words some of the fertilizer may get through but most of it won't so guys, if you want to help those stolons, you want to help those things grow, you want to help them spread, you want to help these spread, these stolons, that's a technique that you can use as a homeowner and a landscaper. All right, like I said, this is not a long video. It's just tips that I keep giving you guys. If you got that Bermuda grass, it's one of the things you need to do. Bear in mind, I planted this. This is not sod. That part over there, saw it. Grass is thick and green. 
Look at BYD Jr. up there. Look at him. <laughs> oh, boy. But, guys, look, just remember, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I will talk to you soon. I don't even think he's blowing anything. He's just walking. Okay, Yard Fanatics, I know this is an end credit thing here, but look, that's the 5,000 square feet aerated. Now, one thing you can do is come back with a mower, bag up all this, then put your fertilizer down or whatever nutrient you want to add to it. Try, try to help boost it up. So look at it. It looks like I actually took a real A-E-R, A-Tur, and did it, but... I air rated this A I R raid R A I D. So that's what that looks like, guys. All right.